welcome to Arts Across America. My name is Maimuna Youssef, also known as Mumu Fresh, and I am joined here by my talented co-host, Sajari Salter Villegas. Today, we are super excited to speak to this amazingly talented family group called Infinity Song. We're going to hear some music. We are going to speak to them about their process and about how they plan to change the world. If you don't know already, Arts Across America is a video series put on by the Kennedy Center, which focuses on cultural leadership and public healing, exploring topics including racial sensitivity, economic equity, mental and, and physical health, land and water protection, and more. Today, we will witness performances and dialogue as we join together in healing our country, community, and selves with Infinity Song. Just to give you a little bit of background on us, I want to start with my co-host first, Sajari. He's an amazing playwright, poet, actor, model, activist. He's a Blacksican multidisciplinary artist from Chicago, using his voice to uplift, advocate for, and represent black and brown stories in theater, film, and the fashion world. As he continues to nuance social commentary through various artistic outlets, he is interested in how performance art can be used as a tool for liberation. Welcome, Sajari. Thank you, and let's get into my awesome co-host, <laughs> Mumu Fresh, who is an Afro-Indigenous singer, MC, songwriter, activist, workshop facilitator, and audio engineer who's been called a quadruple threat by The Roots' Black Thought and Groundbreaking by Oscar-winning artist Comet. In 2021, Mumu Fresh partnered with Afropunk and Netflix and was the voice behind mm. the ACLU systematic equality campaign. In 2020, she was asked to lend her soulful voice to the ESPYs tribute to Black Lives Because We Matter. Some of her other standout moments in 2020 include her contribution to Salam Remy's album Black On Purpose and Toby Nguyen's album Cinco Originals. Shout out to my co-host <laughs> Mumu Fresh. Thank you so much. We just want to share a little bit about Infinity Song. They were homeschooled academically and musically by their parents who founded the Boys and Girls Choir of Detroit, Abraham 28, Victory 26, Angels 24, Israel 23, and Momo, who's 21, have performed in front of audiences since pre-K and make up the family group Infinity Song. In October of 2020, the group shared their debut album, Mad Love, which they released on Rock Nation after getting signed by Jay-Z himself. They recently performed on Colbert, uh, Tamron Hall, Full Frontal with Samantha B, and kicked off the BT Soul Train Awards and have built up a burgeoning cult following with viral cover performances on their social media, Infinity Song. They are a combination of so much cutting edge production, introspective songwriting, and an exuberance for black excellence. After that in intro, I feel like I have to come down a little bit and, and say, be humble. <laughs> Because y'all was hyping us up too much. The hype was deserved. Thank you. We can't wait to hear those velvety voices coming together. We have three songs from our debut album, Mad Love. Um, this first song we're going to do is called Everything's Going to Be All Right. And it's an original song Momo wrote. <laughs> Quiet whisper in the dead of night Tells me everything will be alright If I keep my head to the sky Everything is gonna be alright Quiet whisper in the dead of night Tells me everything will be alright If I keep my head to the sky Sometimes it's hard to get over 
Wow. Come on. Beautiful. Thank you. Wow. I was writing in my sister's room. And there was a box of headphones, and the description of the headphones was um, quiet comfort. And they were like advertising, like, oh, this pair of headphones will give you quiet comfort, yada, yada, yada. And then I was like, that's a nice phrase. So I was like, so I took that, and then those are the first words of the song. And then that like inspired me. I had no idea it was gonna be a pandemic and those words were gonna be necessary more than ever. Whose art has healed you and helped to bring you clarity, peace, and understanding the way you all have given to so many artists? That list is long. <laughs> like, and, and I know it's long for everybody, we all have different inspirations. It's important to start at home. Our parents are and were um, constant inspirations to us and everything that we are today is a, as a result of, of their perseverance. And especially musically, being developed musically at home was a gift that we, we couldn't have ever earned or asked for. And so it's important to give that honor. Outside of the family, Aretha Franklin, we could all list Nina Simone, uh, the Winans, a lot of gospel music. Gospel music is a big deal to our family. Um, Donny Hathaway. I, I want to go back to your question, though, because you asked what artists and what art has healed you. And there's a lot of artists that inspire us. Um, and we listen to them for different things. Um, but for me personally, I find there are specific artists that I go to for healing. Um, and I, one of my favorite artists to listen to when I want to overcome something or when I, uh, when I need healing, as you said, is CC Winans. Um, and, um. Yeah, specifically, she has an album called Throne Room. And I think she has one called Songs for Emotional Healing. <laughs> and there's this, yeah, there's this song on there that says, You are loved. Somebody told me to tell you. You've been waiting for someone to say. You are loved. You know. And it, I just repeat that song. Purified. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be pure inside. Yeah. Love that song. Yeah. I feel like. CC Winans is like textbook healing music. <laughs> we need music that's telling us we're going to be good. It says we're going to make yeah. it. We gonna... <laughs> um, and so I appreciate y'all for, um, for gifting us with, with healing work and healing art, especially as black folks in t today. Um, we we need it, and I, I was wondering if that 
is something that you all think about when creating your art? Do you think about its healing capabilities? Honestly speaking, I know people are touched by the music that we sing, but last year was filled to the brim with just like em emotionally um, nerve wrecking events from the pandemic to the racial um, unrest. And a lot of times we would just come into the studio and have to sing to ourselves like in, in order to like make sense of it all we would be singing from a place of of need um and that came through in our performances to the people like we were singing to ourselves a lot of times and and just exploring and and trying to articulate what we were feeling and that journey came through in our performance and hopefully resonated i think resonated with a lot of people so it was it was definitely internal you can hear it in your blend you know you hear the love between you all and your blend like not everybody blends together and the way you all's voices resonate you know you all have your vocally have your own relationship with each other just mm -hmm. i don't know if it's because you've been talking to each other singing with each other since you were born <laughs> but it's just such a beautiful just harmonic embrace that happens with y'all's voices. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's You're definitely um, a journey. It's, it's like, if I were to describe our blend and mm -hmm. the process to get in, get to blend, and I'm not touch, just talking vocally, because before you get to the vocals, you have to yeah. be in harmony in spirit, yeah. right? And, um, and it's a process kind of like black hair. It's like you, you don't just wake up and it's automatically blended. <laughs> you have to, it's yeah, a process. Has that joint. Right, exactly. <laughs> and if anything, this pandemic took us through a deep conditioning mm. process. Okay. Yes. <laughs> How do you all decide who sings what parts, right? Because... I used to sit when my grandmother was alive, we had a group called Three Generations. So I grew up singing with my mother and grandmother. And me and my mother used to fight about who was going to sing the soprano part and who was going to sing the alto part, you know. <laughs> or sometimes, um, you know, there might be one part that's like a little more difficult. Some of the intervals are further apart. And you're trying to figure out who's going to sing what. And my mother would keep saying, don't jump on my part. You stay on your part, you know. We I do that. That's <laughs> us. You well, all do that? Not me, but. It's all right. You'll be up in there, you too. Don't don't fry. Like, uh, as soon as you claim a part, you got to record it in a voice memo so you have proof when people try to steal it later. <laughs> <laughs> the three of us, we, we like to look at ourselves as the oh, supreme. Yeah. We call ourselves okay. the supreme. We call ourselves the supreme. Okay. That means we've, we've, we've hit a stride with three-part harmony and mm. a sweet from a yep from a women's like vocal perspective vocal perspective okay and then the guys kind of like like accent and compliment it yeah and bring it out more exactly okay so uh we have our go-to formations where we just like all right divide and conquer let's hit this <laughs> let's hit it with this strategy <laughs> And if and if it. any of the Supremes watch this, we hope that you feel honored by that um, internal um, inspiration. Kind of, yeah, it's, it's really inspiration, not even a comparison, because how can you compare yourself to the Supremes? But you can't. We feel we feel like, like we, we're you. Yeah, exactly. It's like dressing up as Superman. So up next, um, Infinity Song will be performing When the Rain Starts. Let's get into it. This song is really fun. Momo also wrote this one. And what's nice about this song is we just released what we feel is an amazing music video uh, directed by Angel. Um, we were out in Wyoming and we just danced expressively in an open field with mountains in the backdrop. That sounds so overly simplified. I mean, it is simple, but... And it, it was a truly liberating feeling. And we hope it comes across on the video. So I encourage everybody to go watch that as we sing this. We're excited to hear it, so please share, yeah.
When the rain starts, will you be my shelter? When I call you, will you still answer? When I'm drifting, will you be my anchor? And when the world ends, will you be my savior? I need. I need you. I need you. I need you. Cause without you, I'm afraid that there is no other way for my life to feel complete. Cause you are my source of peace And I know that you believe In my capabilities So I hope that you can see That you mean so much to me When the night falls, will you be my light? When I'm tired, will you take me home? When I'm broken. Will you make me whole and keep me warm when there's only cold? I need.
Magical. That was magic. Yes, yes, yes. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Can you talk about your collaboration with Kanye? Yeah, no. Um, so I uh had the opportunity to work with Kanye on his album Jesus is King. Mm-hmm. Um, and he really appreciated my uh lyricism and um how I incorporate my faith into how I lyrically paint pictures. Mm. And, um, and so we, we hit it off. We, we met at some, well, actually we first met at Sunday service. And then a couple weeks later we met, he, he was in my audience at um, a performance I did for Robert Smith, Robert F. Smith, the um, uh, venture capitalist. And um, and so from there we connected. He really appreciated my original music, and we connected. And we were in the studio a couple weeks later, collaborating. And uh, he asked me to help him with his album. And so that was a wild ride and journey of um, being in in Kanye's uh, songwriting machine. It's basically a machine where where. Uh, there are all these different producers, lyricists, creatives of all different kinds from all over the world, just the best. And um, I, I grew a lot. I contributed a lot. And um, and then we became friends, and he he ended up hitting it off with my dad. And, um, and then he eventually met the rest of Infinity Song, and, um, and he ended up deeming our... our our group, the future of music. He said, I truly believe this group is the future of music. And, um, yeah. And so we, we found ourselves out in Wyoming quite a bit working with Kanye. And that was our first introduction to the state of Wyoming. Um, and then, yeah, we just kind of like existed between the metropolitan area of New York city and Wyoming for, for quite some time. And, uh, and yeah, that's what's up. And then, so the making of this video, fast forward from that first, you know, collaboration with Kanye to this, to the making of this video, um, was the scenery inspired by like your love for Wyoming? Like how, why did you guys choose this place to create the video for this song? Um, We just were out there, you know, all together and there were, be times where we would be out there but we wouldn't all five be together so maybe it'd just be two of us or at one point and then we'd go home and then some of the others would come out so it just happened that all five of us were out there at this time so we were just exploring and it's just a very beautiful place um we were there in the fall of last year so just the weather was amazing and we just started thinking and then we were like guys we should do a video and I was like, "Say no more." <laughs> and then, <laughs> when she says, "When she says we started thinking," by that she means no, I literally thinking. you. Yeah, I didn't say that. Literally <laughs> you. You're like, we should yeah. do a video. And then, I had already had the thought that we should do a video, but when you said it, I didn't actually want to bring it up. But you oh, said it. Then I, I was like, "Okay, let's do it." <laughs> so for our third and final song, tear at it being the final song. We have Mad Love. So this song was written by Israel. It is the title track to our debut album, Mad Love. Israel, do you want to tell everyone what it's about? What it's inspired Um, by? It's just about that type of love you have for people who, like, it's just Mad Love. I don't know how to explain it. There's no exact definition of it, but it's, it's Mad Love. It's... 
it's a fierce love. It's a fierce love. It's it's almost an angry love where I don't know. You're not angry at you're each other. You're not angry at them. It's just a it's a it's a it's so the world is angry. No, you're not angry at anybody. You're not mad at anybody, but it's just such a fierce love. It's so concentrated and strong. Basically you know, her definition. It's 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 a powerful love. How about this? Ooh, that's it's, good. It it doesn't necessarily make sense, but it doesn't have to because it's mad love. Yeah. Let's yeah. do it. Also, you explained it pretty also, well. Also, yeah, in the song, in the song <laughs> like so, just listen to the lyrics. Yeah, they're, they're pretty explanatory. It's a pretty, it's a very, it's a simple song, but it, I think, the most powerful songs are simple. I got mad love for you, brother. You've been with me from the start I got mad love for your sister You got a piece of my heart Even though I know I don't say it's enough I want you to know what I feel in my heart I don't want you to think that I take you for granted You will mean so much to me, please understand it Cause I got mad love for you Yeah, I got mad love for you Yeah, I got mad love for you Yeah, I got mad love for you Oh, I got mad love for you Yeah, I got mad love for you I got mad love for you. I've got mad love for you, mama. You brought me into this world. I've got mad love for your father. You taught me to persevere. Even though I know I don't say. We're not in person. Me and Mumu would have been together. Like, I, ah, ah. I had to put my mic on mute so I wasn't over here shouting and calling in the spirit now. Right. Huh? <laughs> oh, that was awesome. That was so yes, beautiful. Man, I wish my siblings could sing. I have 14 siblings and nobody else sings. Isn't that ridiculous? Why? Hey. Well, my baby sister does, but she won't. 
Well, just out of my own personal curiosity. So I noticed you all's names are mostly um, biblical names or either they're names of strength and purpose. I find that um, sometimes, you know, your name defines your path and sometimes you have to grow into your name. You know what I mean? And I want to ask you all about your names. Like, do your names, are, are they? do you feel like they're aligned with who you are? already are or who you're becoming mm, they're oddly aligned very specifically i think they kind of yeah dictated who we would become or like spoke it into existence <laughs> okay like very much mm -hmm. so for all across the board not even just uh, with us five but we dictate have, mine we have four other siblings we have to give give that to our parents because we had nothing to do with with these names um oh yeah i definitely told were, them i wanted to be named israel right, right out of the womb <laughs> so visionary so visionary um but i do have to say for the people who feel like they do not have names that as you said are filled with vision and purpose that's an opportunity to define your name give your own name meaning meaning like, like some Beyonce. people can groove tom in a way that just could be more substantial than 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 anybody can can do it so like Beyonce is now considered a compliment like before it was just her name but now since she is who she is that's like if somebody says if somebody compares you to Beyonce or if somebody says that in regards to you that's a compliment and that's a high honor so she made that name something than it, something more than it was so we don't want, we we don't want people to be like your names are so special and my name is not. It's like no, go make your name special, like go make it and it will be. What do you all feel like is the difference in your experience between being independent artists and then being signed? What do you feel like is the difference? That's a whole can of worms <laughs> that you about to open up. Oh, <laughs> I will say, shout out to Jay Z. Um, because he really, he bet on us. Um, and now it's not, it, it shouldn't have been hard then, but it's definitely not hard now to see that we were worth betting on. Um, but he was, he was the first one on that level, like on the superstar level to say, ooh, we need to, we need to work together. Like, and it wasn't a And not only say it, because I feel like he might not have been the first to say it, but he was the first to put his money behind it. Like, actually back it up. He was the first to do that and invest in us. So that was cool. And it was, he's super, he was super empowering. It wasn't like he, he said, ooh, let me exploit and let me uh, figure out how to take everything and take ownership. No, it wasn't. It's not like that. It was never like that we still have so much independence as a group and it's not because we said we got to have independence it was because of how he approached us and so we have to give him a lot of credit for that um the difference between independent and signed i think you know the work is still the work like we're still working harder than we've ever worked um, I don't know about all that, but I'm a harder, but still hard. <laughs> We're working hard. <laughs> the only, the main difference is that it's now definitely completely a business. Not completely, but it's it's trying to manage being artists as well as a part of this industry, this business commercialized in, in industry. So that is a whole other side of things where even when you are an independent artist, you still you still have business, like you, you have different things that you gotta work out and stuff, but it's not as strong of it's a not part the, of your life. I would it's say one way that I would yeah. define it is, is the difference between being a small business, like a mom and pop shop, or being, um, having major distribution and being like, oh, we're in, yeah, era corporation, right? And so, you have to work extremely hard on regardless you know but the the reach that you have as a mom and pop shop is your community you know your your friends your family people in the that are within your sphere of influence and it doesn't have very large of a reach 
Um, but then when you're a corporation, you can your reach can all of a sudden be international. You have reps in the UK and reps in the States and South America, wherever. And, you know, I think it's so powerful, though, that hip hop has matured and lasted this long that artists artists have lasted long enough to be able to give back and be able to create the type of opportunities that did not exist for them at one at one point in the industry they didn't it was unheard of and you know someone like Jay-Z is able to create business models for new artists that did not exist it you could, wouldn't happen no way in the world it would happen you know and now it's like changing what is possible you know for um yeah especially for young black artists you know is really changing what's possible. I remember being a 17 year old and getting into the business and just some of the rhetoric, what was standard was never fair, but it was what was standard and you were not offered what was fair, only what was standard, you know? And so it's good to see, yeah, it's good to see that it's changing. It's, it's like hip hop has lived long enough to truly change the business, you know? So that's, that's amazing. The presence of someone like Jay-Z and these other um, mavericks or trailblazers is that they are literally changing what is standard into a more yeah. fair model for so yeah. many people across the industry. Mm -hmm. And so we really have to tip our hats to, to people like Jay-Z. Word, well, thank you all so much um, for joining us here at Arts Across America. Um, We've been blessed to have, to be in conversation with and to enjoy Infinity Song. Um, shout out Mumu, my co-host, for you. keeping us right and tight and live. Um, <laughs> see you soon on the next video coming to you with Arts Across America with the Kennedy Center. Peace, y'all. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Infinity Song. Oh, Take care. Thank you.